and I am very soon going to make a video on how exactly to use Cheat Engine to get you these things. It's been 84 years. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. This is a guide on how to create and modify equipment in Shadow of War using Cheat Engine. Very first thing is back up your save. I'm gonna put in, this is all the different save locations no matter where you are on PC. Please do this, you do have a chance of ruining items, corrupting your game, bad things happening. So uh, follow this guide at your own risk. Uh, Starting up Cheat Engine, if you're not familiar with using it, uh, first thing you want to go over to after the game has started, you want to go up to the computer and activate uh, Shadow of War, Middle Earth. It's going to be a different uh, process number for you. Uh, then we want to go to Shadow of War, the Sekura table. That's a separate download. I will put a link in the description uh, to the relevant stuff. And then once you have it activated, once the game is up, uh, you want to click on Master Script. Uh, and the two scripts we want to utilize for this method are Epic Legendary Uroks Drop Specific Items and Item Pointers. This is how we get the items, and this is how we modify them. Uh, so Epic uh, Legendary Uroks Drop Specific Items. When we click it, we get this drop item value. And here, when we double-click on the value None, we get this... Uh, box here where we can put in different things and there's they're categorized by the very first number dlc3 these are uh obviously the dlc i believe where you're playing is other characters uh you can try spawning in those items in the main campaign uh ng1 sword these are all the swords um and obviously there's a description on what it does ng2 two daggers are all of the daggers ng3 bows these are all of the different bows, bow snipe versus the other kind or the various types of bows. Uh, there's like the hammer, there's a short bow, long bow, NG4 is armor, NG5 is cape. Uh, NG5 legend, there's some uh, uh, caliber more equipment. NG5 legend, these are all the legendary, all the other options have been epic because these are only for epic and uh, legendary orcs. So all of these are uh, the legendary equipment, you can see they're uh, categorized by uh, the different types of equipment within legendary uh, and the different sets. And then finally, we got NG6 rings. These are all the different rings. So you can more or less just uh, look for the type of description that you are looking for as far as what the equipment is. You can experiment with these different uh, values. We're looking for wrath. Wrath Recovery Execution. This is Wrathbringer, uh, which is what most people are going to be looking for. Uh, you can also, if you already have the equipment, use the item pointer to uh, find it. But most of you aren't going to have this equipment. I will be showing you the values for the build that I used alongside this, which is Wrath Giver Slaughter Star. Next step is to find an epic or legendary Uruk to drop the equipment that we put in. We put in uh, Wrath Giver, that is the modifier to get that. And if I go over here to the map, see if I've already uh, found an epic uh, orc. So this will, because of the cheat engine, actually let's make sure that I enabled it. I don't think that I did. No. Okay. So <laughs> first you got to clip drop, drop item on this. So the next uh, epic orc that I kill will drop this equipment. Uh, and I've got this one identified. Uh, so I'm going to find this uh, Uruk and kill it and then uh, get the equipment. Okay, and uh, just killed this Uruk. And we can see we got the Numenor sword from Ashgar and the Dead. Go to view equipment. Excellent. So we got this level 75 Numenor sword, um, Numenorian sword. Uh, and you can see that there's an unlock challenge. So for any epic equipment, uh, you are going to have to do the unlock challenge. There's probably a way to do this ch with cheat engine. I would recommend just doing it legitimately 
to try to minimize the amount that you're going to influence the game uh, with uh, Cheat Engine. So I'm going to go ahead and do these challenges first, uh, and then we're going to uh, continue with the guide. And uh, we just completed the executions required, so we unlocked this sword to set it upgraded. And we just got a level 78 Wrathgiver sword. So I'm going to go re equip it. I'm going to go back into Cheat Engine, and I believe I have to enable this first. Okay, so we'll disable this. And item pointer. When changing your equipment, the script will find the selected item. Sometimes you have to do this multiple times uh, for it to get to work. So I'm just going to equip this twice, go back here, and we can see all the traits uh, for this weapon. So it's the base weapon we want. It's a Wrath Giver. Uh, now we just need to change its level and its abilities. And to know what we need to put in, some of these values are, are sort of obvious, like the level and whatnot. But I actually have uh, a sword with all the correct values, uh, this Wrathgiver sword. And so essentially, you just want to copy and paste all the top values here. The level, uh, the, the appearance, you can just straight up cosmetically uh, put whatever sword you want. Uh, effect 1, that's the base weapon, so we've got that. Effect value 1, make sure that's 10. Uh, if you are putting this at level 90, one sword base property epic, that's its attack value. That should be 196. Uh, damage boost, health when full. Uh, one point. And so I'll just copy and paste this value, and then we just need to uh, find this property. So now I'm going to go back to our level. Yeah, our level 78 uh, sword. So we got this equipped. So go over here to level. We're going to change this to 90. Uh, we're going to keep it cosmetically the same. This is the value it's supposed to be. This is now the wrong value because we've leveled up the weapon. So this is uh, 196. And then here, its secondary is one sword chance supply freeze on crit. But that's not what we want. We want uh, damage uh, health full. Uh, Yep, and then for the value, we want this to be 15, because 15% is what the weapon displays, and that's pretty much it. Now when we go uh, back in the game, excuse my controller, freaking out here. Yeah, and uh, I, I haven't even changed the equipment. We can see it's still from Ashgar and the Dead, and all of its uh, attributes are have now been updated. I guess I'll equip another Wrathgiver, and everything's exactly the same. Uh, I now have three different Wrathgivers uh, that I've made, uh, and they're they're all good. You can see the uh, the different properties pop up there. And just a little bit about the weapon levels. You can get swords up to 90. I think that applies to legendaries. I'm not sure. Um, any non-epic equipment you can get up to level 88 like I have with the Star Claimer here and any legendary um, equipment you can get up to 85 uh, legitimately uh, so I'm just gonna go through and equip uh, the different build equipment so that you can see uh, what their attributes are and actually before I do that I just want to point out there's probably a way to do this using the cheat engine, but just as sort of a disclaimer of the type of things that can go wrong. Uh, do, do, do. Oh, I think it might have fixed itself. No, it did not. Okay, so what happened here is uh, I tried to uh, turn this... Yeah, and now it's updated. I tried to turn this arcane dagger. Previously, it popped up as an arcane dagger, but now you can see that it's a slaughter dagger. Uh, I tried to convert an arcane uh, dagger into a slaughter dagger as opposed to the base weapon. Didn't work. It has something to do with the values below, and there might be a way to do it, but I'm less familiar with those values and how to change those. And now I can't even equip this weapon because it's... Uh, it's not legitimate. Uh, it is essentially a corrupted item. Uh, 
so even when I try to equip it, it doesn't work, and you can't even modify it if you can't equip it. However, if you go over to the item and you go to modify, now we can go back in here in Cheat Engine and you can see these properties uh, bring up. So I could try to revert these back to how they previously were so that the item is usable, but that's the danger of trying to do this is that you can potentially corrupt your items. So a little disclaimer there. Um, all right, let's let's go back to uh, just and I don't I don't need control over this. I'll, I'll just mouse and keyboard. Uh, this is uh, the blood dagger. These are all the values that I have for this for the build. Uh, this is uh, the blood longbow. You can see all the values uh, there in cheat engine. Here is the blood armor. You can see all the values there. Blood cloak. Uh, those are all the values for that one. And star climber. Last one. So yeah, essentially, if you go through and uh, do the process that I did, uh, you can create any equipment that you want, uh, or you can uh, recreate the build that I've got here. And that's pretty much how you make and modify weapons in Shadow of War using Cheat Engine. Thanks for watching. Sounds like a bad little person to send me. Sounds like a bad little person to send me.